Well, hello. It is Thursday, January 25th. And it is almost two o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah, a lot has been going on today, including the morning sale, uh, to which I got a special request to send out um, some purchases from the morning sale ASAP. And, um, and I did, I got that all taken care of, got the item and because uh, I ended up shipping things out in a small flat rate box, which was the cheapest um, priority um, priority option out there, um, I ended up grabbing a few other items that this person had purchased to fill up the box. It's like, if I'm going to ship it, I might as well make it worth worthwhile. So I filled up everything in there from things purchased today, a couple from um, previous. Um, a couple things were too big to go in the box. So they'll, they'll be accumulating for the next round. Um, but I did get that. I needed to um, drive my car today anyway. So I grabbed that and four other boxes I could quickly grab and quickly run into the post office. So I did that and um, got back, got um, postage for two additional boxes um, that I had received. So um, those ended up over on the stack. Uh, the mail carrier has already come, so I don't have a picture of that, but um, let's see, that would be the nine boxes from yesterday that didn't get picked up, uh, plus the two boxes from today, minus three boxes <laughs> that I took with me, plus the additional box from today. I know, that's, that's some crazy math. <laughs> So I won't be showing the packages that are going out today because they're already out. They're already gone. But uh, one of the reasons why I wanted to run that one to the post office was that hopefully it would get on an early truck that was heading down to Seattle for processing and that could, um, you know, get processed a little faster and, and get out a little faster in the hopes that it would be delivered on Saturday. I know, I know I'm hoping on the two day priority, it's not heading cross country. We're only going kind of half the way across the country. So I'm hoping, I'm really hoping that it makes it, I gave it its absolute best possible opportunity to get there. Uh, so fingers crossed. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll see if it makes it there or not. <laughs> but again, I wanted to give it an absolute best chance to, to get there. Um, but talking about the morning sale, I have everything set up behind me to talk about the morning sale. Um, yeah. And I ended up when I got home, um, I uh, got the cats some lunch because I really just kind of flew out of here. But, you know, like Joe had already had two breakfasts, so he he was not starving. <laughs> he was doing all right. Uh, but when I got back, um, yes, I did get um, I did get them another got them lunch. I got myself some lunch. So that was nice. And uh, yeah, and I got the table all set up. So let's go ahead and talk about uh, what happened at the sale. I'm gonna flip the camera around. All right, so here we are in front of the table and you can see uh, crafting and holiday um, items. Yep, that was kind of the unofficial theme of the day. And um, I ended up, well, I had originally 62 items for the sale. However, um, my mom said, oh, well, I would like those two items. So we're down to 60 items for the sale. <laughs> of the 60 items I brought, uh, 35 of them sold and 25 are still available. So let's go ahead and um, 
let's see, we're starting over here somewhere. Oh, we're starting back here. So let's go ahead and go over the items still available. I have two of these. They're like little um, bows, but they are ringlets, nice gold mylar. Uh, they are $1 each, $1 each. And you know what? I'm gonna give some numbers also. I think that'll be easier. Those are number two. So there are two of them, $1 each, and they are number two. Uh, right next to them is a bag of gold, like shreds. Um, if you do gift baskets and, and such, those items are really fun to have to kind of use as filler um, or possibly with Easter coming up, they could make some really fun filler. Uh, that bag is $1 and it is number three. Uh, these are kind of like little napkin rings. They're about, um, let me put my finger here. I'll put my finger here so you can see how big they are. There are nine of them in here with really cute little flowers, but you can use them for, for anything. You know, you can use them in your card making, um, junk journaling. You can use them around bottles. If you're going to gift, gift some wine bottles, that could be fun. Uh, there are nine of them in this bag and they are $2. Uh, this bag, same thing, kind of napkin rings. There are a variety. Each one of these has either, let me turn it this way, has like a little flower, a little ladybug, a little butterfly on them. And there are 16 in here. And um, those are $3. Um, rainbow eyelashes. Yep, they are a thing. So rainbow eyelashes, you can use them, you can craft with them, put them on a doll, that could be fun. Uh, $1, number 11. For those, um, I know, I'm trying to follow on my list here. Okay, where is the... I lo there's my pom-pom. I lost the pom-pom. Yep, this is a pom-pom. It has a handle and everything. Red, white, and blue pom-pom. That one is $1, number 22. And then I have a red, blue, and silver necklace with little stars. All three, $1, number 23. Then I have these red, blue, and silver that say USA with stars. Those are uh, $1. Uh, number 26. Did I say that this one was number 25? Ooh, I'll, I'll rephrase that. $1, number 25, $1, number 26. Uh, then I have some flag pins. There are two that are double flags that have the regular um, pin with the pin back. This one is magnetic. And those are uh, $2 for all three pins. And those are number 28. Okay, I have a couple of Christmas items. Yep. Uh, earrings. These are these are vintage from Kmart. 2012 from Kmart. Uh, they are both three section earrings. So you can see there are three sections that make up the earrings, the bow, the bell, the wreath, and then the three sections of the tree. Uh, they are two dollars. The wreaths are number 32. And the Christmas trees, number 33. And again, those are $2. Uh, these are from Pier 1. And I'm still trying to, de to determine glass or, because there is a coolness to them. I think they're glass. 
Uh, bracelet and earrings with little peppermints. Uh, the pair of them are $8, number 36. Uh, then I have a set here of four. Two of them are attached to headbands, two are not. And so here are the two that are not. They are uh, this really nice uh, black and white mesh with a little like crystal. I do think it's plastic crystal. And this one is round. This one is um, kind of square. And then attached to um, a headband, this one has some feathers. And there's a little, um, the little crystal down there, a little plastic crystal. And then this one with the feathers, uh, that one is also a round one. You're going to get all four of those for $4. And they are number 37. Then I have a lot of 14 red hats. They have a um, little cording around them. Most of them have little flowers. A couple of them don't, but most of them have little flowers. 14 of them, and they are $4, number 38. I have a veil. Yep, a veil. Has some uh, sequin on it. This you can use for you. You can use for a doll. Uh, the veil is $2, number 40. The um, Hawaiian, this is a hair clip. This is a whole lot. You're going to get the whole lot for uh, $2. No, $4. Sorry, the veil was $2. The Hawaiian lot is $4. So you're going to get the hair clip. You're going to get one, two, three four and five. So five lays on this one plus the hair clip. That is four dollars and that is number 41. Um, the bag full of um, like gift bag filler gift box filler there's a light blue a dark blue a natural and then the rest of this bag is full of the white that's a big bag you're going to get the whole bag all four colors for a uh, four dollars number 42 and then we've got the ribbon so this is a partial roll it had 10 yards this is one dollar number 44. This is um, mostly full, just maybe a little bit gone. 10 yards. This is two dollars number 45. This is a beautiful like ivory lace in a ribbon, partially used and there was a three yards in here. This is $2, number 47. This one is a smaller black and white polka dot. There was seven yards. You can see it is partially used. And that is $1, number 50. Then I have a larger black and white polka dot. I actually have two of those. They were a uh, four yards. I think they are mostly there. Uh, they are two dollars each, number 55 and number 56. This one with uh, red and pink roses. It is not on um, a cardboard, but you can see how much is there. Uh, this one is two dollars, number 57. This one, purple ruffle with some white accents. This was uh, 15 feet, so that's five yards. 
partially used, but there's still a lot on here. Uh, this is uh, $1, number 59. And then this one, there really is not much left on this one, just a little bit. And it is $1, number 60. All right, so we are now going to take a quick look through uh, the items that sold today. Uh, some Mardi Gras beads and some little crafting accessories. Uh, I had uh, two pairs of chopsticks, some stickers, there's uh, roses, ladybugs, bumblebees in there, some of these organza and uh, muslin bags, another um, necklace, some silver and red cording, Christmas earrings with reindeers and jingle bells, a valentine with the candy heart um, necklace and bracelet, heart earrings, heart bracelet, some crafting ribbon with uh, bows, yellow ribbon, um, this pretty leaf, those two nice floral patterns, the red with the ruffle, this pretty summertime flower, and the purple. Um, these are little um, like napkin holders with um, travel themed. There were, I think, five, um, five necklaces in there. Oh, some little candy canes. And, and the items that I already packed away. Yes, there were, uh, oh gosh, four or five additional items that are already at the post office. Um, so yeah, so that is a, um, a quick overview of the items that sold today. All right, I am going to flip the camera around. Okay, I am going to probably very quickly get the table all organized. Um, hopefully I gave numbers on everything. I was trying to remember to give numbers on everything. But the items that didn't sell, yep, they're going to stay down here so I can easily access them in case anybody is watching either on the replay, the speed round of the sale, or watches the vlog and is interested in those items. Uh, the items that sold, yep, they are going to get um, bundled together by purchaser. That way I can, I can find them a little easier. And I'm going to take them upstairs. And that's kind of the last thing I'm going to do other than um, work a bit today as I come downstairs and have I ha as I have time to grab some items for tomorrow morning sale. But I already have a bag down here of um, where I'm going to pull those items from. So it's a little easier. I've got that kind of organized. And Friday night sale just might come from uh, some of this stuff too. So I kind of got that a little more centrally located uh, to make it a little easier on me. Um, but yeah, that is probably going to wrap it up for the vlog today. Um, unless something major happens, which you'll be able to see on the ticker if there's more time. But otherwise, yeah, I think that is going to do it. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.